Mitch Jones, let him hear it. Hey, Comedy Works. I hope you're all doing good. I wish I could say the same. I'm really worried about natural disasters. Uh, I, I don't think we're empathetic towards natural disasters here in Colorado because whenever there's a hurricane, we're always just like, oh man, that sucks about your house, Florida. We just decriminalized mushrooms. <laughs> in our mountain fortress, right? Like, it doesn't fucking phase us. But everybody forgets about that super volcano underneath Yellowstone National Park. That's right, that's right. And I think 2019 is the year of the super volcano. I'm betting on it. And when that thing blows, we all have to get together and flee. We can't go to the north, because that's where the volcano is, right? So we're all gonna have to get together and flee to the south. But I know that given the th way that things are in this country currently, as soon as everybody gets to the southern border, all those cops in Mexico are gonna instantly become Buford T. Justice all of a sudden. <laughs> Just like, well, well, well. <laughs> if it isn't Los Immigrantes de Americano. <laughs> Looks like the Zapato is on the other PA now, don't it? <laughs> Yeah, but Americans, we're tenacious. We're like, we'll come in anyway. You can't even stop us. <laughs> Who the fuck built this wall here? <laughs> no! And that's it, that's it for everybody. <laughs> Here's a question for you, Comedy Works. If you lose your virginity, which I'm hoping to tonight, and uh... <laughs> If you lose your virginity, and then you have sex with a string of different people, but then you meet up with the person that took your virginity and you have sex with them again, can you count that as two different people who says yes? <laughs> oh, only me, you cowards? <laughs> I think it should count as two different people, I do think so. There's precedent set for it, right? The precedent you asked? President Grover Cleveland, everybody. Yeah, that's right. If you remember your history, Grover Cleveland was both the 22nd and the 24th president of these United States, despite being the same person. So if that's good enough for the American presidency, why can't Charlene be the first and the sixth president of Dong Sylvania? That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. Let me add one to my numbers, okay? I'm actually retired from sex currently right now. I'm, re I'm retired. I'm, I hung it up. I, uh, I've been doing this long distance relationship. I got a girl, she calls me her in-town boyfriend, which is a big red flag, because there's so many towns. <laughs> there's so many towns. But the last time she came to Colorado, she did touristy things. She got voodoo donuts, you know. Ah, they're donuts, but they're $11 for some reason. I don't know. <laughs> But I met up with her after work to have drinks, and she was like, I got you a donut. I get you a, a special Homer donut, the Homer Simpson, pink frosting, sprinkles. And I was like, uh-huh, you got me a donut? And you know I like the Simpsons? If you weren't my in-town girlfriend, I'd kiss you on the mouth, you know? <laughs> but, <laughs> so we went back to her friend's house, we drank into the wee hours of the night, all the people left. Her friend went to bed, she went to have a cigarette, I, ate the donut, because of course it's my donut, I'm gonna eat it. She comes back in after her cigarette, we start making out, we start getting frisky on the hardwood floor, and she says the thing that every fat guy wants to hear. She said, I wanna eat a donut off of your dick. <laughs> I didn't know what to say, so I was just like, love lift us up where we belong. <laughs> But I'm my own self-fulfilling prophecy. I ate the donut already. She was like, where's the donut? I was like, I didn't know you're some dick donut freak. You're gonna play ring toss. <laughs> She's, she was like, I'm gonna do it anyway. I just, I'm gonna use a different donut. 
And you would think that she'd choose one with a hole in the middle, one built for it, right? She chose a Bavarian cream-filled long john. And you would think she'd slide it on all nice, right? No, she put that donut on my dick like she was putting a propeller on a World War I airplane. My dick bust through that donut like she was testing it for a black belt and I was breaking through a two by four. Key, I'm Mitch Jones, thank you, bye. <laughs>